is FYI on your TV brought to you by Hometown News. I'm Kathy Botham. I have got Adriana, Michelle, and Remington back with us on FYI. Thanks for joining us. Hi, Ram. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for having us. Now, you're one of our regular guests here. I so enjoy talking to you. This month is so, so important to myself and I know to you two times over, but uh, I, I just love sharing your story with you and that you're so open to share it with people too. April is Organ Donation Awareness Month and, and we're here to talk about, you've, you've had two heart transplants. I have, yeah, yeah. So I had one at two and a half and I had one when I was 21. And you're doing awesome. I am, yeah, finally, knock on wood, I finally got like really good results uh, from my last checkup, which was a couple weeks ago. Um, like best results I've ever had in my entire existence, honestly. Um, yeah, but it's it took a lot of hard work to get there. Um, and I'm very thankful because I know that not all um, transplant recipients can have like this much success with their health. Like there's so many things that you have to watch for and be more aware of after transplant. So I'm really grateful that I got those results, so yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, when you, you, you've gotten two hearts, you've, you've got a new heart, uh, you have to take care of all of your organs. And, yeah. and so, I mean, you have to take care of your liver, you have to take care of your gallbladder, you have to take care of your stomach, you have to take care of sugars, everything you're doing. And you did this through the pandemic too, and you can't come out of this with a healthy outcome. So good for you, good for you. Thank you, Thank you so what much. Are, what are some uh, key elements do you think that, you, that you've been doing that's made you so successful? Yeah, so I um, I would say the biggest thing would honestly be the mindset portion of it. Like we've talked about some mindset techniques on here before. Mm -hmm. um, but what really shifted my perspective when I was waiting um, was just being aware of like the energy that's within your body, listening to your body, trusting your intuition, um, because everything is energy. Um, and I do, I, it's in my bag, of course, I didn't bring it out, but um, I actually have a Healy device. It's for frequency wellness. Um, and it's been helping me out significantly a lot. Like it just balances and supports your body. Um, so that's been a real game changer for me as well. Um, but yeah, it's a lot of it is, um, a lot of mental work as well. Like people, as much as a, the, I found that the physical body recovered far faster than the emotional and mental portion of it. Um, because when you're when you're waiting for a transplant, in my case, in both cases, um, like my my first transplant, my second, um, it was very clear and evident that my my life wouldn't be long and it wouldn't be continuing um, and that I would pass away at a young age. And so um, to be able to have that like change of mindset of that, like, OK, like I, I have my heart. It's OK to start planning a future and do all of those things. Um, I think that people don't understand how lucky they are to just simply have a healthy body. Like I've I've had to work for 25 years to just get me where I'm at. And like, for me, um, all of my results are good for a transplant patient. Like that's, it's not necessarily normal for like anyone who's, you know, just the regular Joe who's healthy and had no health issues. Um, so yeah, so there's just been a lot of happy tears lately, a lot of like just being present, being in gratitude, because um, we've talked a little bit about manifesting. We haven't really gotten into, you know, the details of it. Um, but a lot of that is working with energy and your mindset. And I've been manifesting, uh, like when I when I had gotten my heart, um, I was manifesting for the perfect heart for me. Um, and that is exactly what found me. Um, but I, I manifested for my recovery to be smooth, which, it was, it was one of the best recoveries my hospital has ever seen. I walked myself out of my ICU, actually four years ago today, I walked myself out of the ICU because uh, my anniversary was on Saturday this weekend. So a lot of mixed emotions because um, I'm definitely, my heart is with my donor's family, of course. Um, so that's where the mixed emotions come in is that as, as happy and as grateful as things are now, and I got it, there's there's a family out there that's grieving, right? So there's, there's definitely a duality to it, um, but just being able to appreciate life and 
understand that the little things are really what make you rich in life, like your health is wealth. So absolutely. Yeah. And I mean, we, we talked about, you know, when I when I when I asked you that, you know, I was talking about, you know, yeah, I was specifically thinking eating, exercising, all that sort of stuff. But what you talk to yourself, how you talk to yourself, how you treat yourself, all your mindset, how you handle things. So, yeah. so important. So, so important. And you, you've been bang on with that stuff since the beginning. And it's been four years? It's been four years on Saturday, yeah. Wow. Yeah. wow. And again, I got to tell the story. You were supposed to be coming here that day. You were going to do an FYI interview and you got a hold of Tammy Carpenter and said, can you tell Kathy I'm not coming in? I, I'm going to go get my heart. And it's like, wow. <laughs> I was so I like blessed that you thought of me to be, that, you know, and worry about yeah. you're going to miss an FYI interview because you're going to get a new heart, girl. <laughs> so that's yeah. been four years. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm, I'm just... Like I said, I, gratitude is really the only emotion I can express right now. Um, I was looking at the organ donation rates before we got on here, mm -hmm. um, and there's actually 1,200 Ontarians that are waiting to transplant. Um, so, like, organ donation is always going to be something that's important to me. We all know Adrian's army and how big of a passion of that is for me. Um, so, I think that no matter how much the healthcare may progress and people's awareness may progress in accepting the organ donation is not a bad thing. Um, there's still always awareness to be spread. Um, so yeah, so sign, like when you get your driver's license, just check the box. It's, it's a miracle, honestly, it and it turns a tragedy into a miracle. Um, so yeah. Absolutely, absolutely. Sign your card, and when you get your health card, it's going to have the, on the back of it that you are a donor, so you'll know you registered correctly. And tell your family. Yes, exactly. And it's so interesting because for me, um, I I asked after my transplant, I was like, "Can I still be an organ donor?" And they said yes. So don't let your current health issues stop you from being an organ donor. Like, you can sign it and. God forbid anything happens to you, but allow the doctors at that time to make the decision if you would make a good donor or not. Um, yeah, like my, I have to honor my transplant mentor because she went through a transplant. Um, it was it was a wild, wild, wild ride for her. Um, and when she passed, she became an organ donor. So pay it, it forward, just, pay it, it just forward. Yeah, 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 and 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 you, yeah, absolutely, and uh, that's wonderful that you said that too, because you, as an organ recipient, can be an organ donor as well. So anybody listening to us, if you've received yeah. an organ, that means you can still be an organ donor as well too. So yeah, exactly. And every three days, someone passes away in Ontario from not receiving an organ. Um, I'm very fortunate to not be one of those statistics, but I know people very close to me who have been, um, and it's it's devastating to see someone fight that hard and just not get it because there's a lack of organ donors. Yeah, and if I can mention right now too, we have a family here in Smith Falls that have just gone yeah. through that waiting for a, a liver transplant. Chris Craig was waiting for a liver transplant and wasn't able to do so, and he passed away about a month ago now too, So, and yeah. he was waiting for a liver transplant too. So. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, they're so, so important. Yeah, so. absolutely, absolutely. So if, if anybody's uh, in, at least bit interested, wants to learn more, you can reach out to me, you can reach out to Adriana. There's all sorts of websites out there. Uh, be a donor, uh, you can find out more and uh, we'll, we'll talk you through it. Just, you know, it, it's just a, a wonderful legacy to be able to do. I'm a donor. <laughs> I'm letting my friends and family know right now. Sean, did you hear that? <laughs> yeah, exactly, yeah. yeah and that's, a, that's an important thing is for your family yeah. to know uh, because it only takes one family member to kibosh that plan. Yes, so, and, yeah. and minutes mean yeah. a difference, yeah, between saving yeah. a life when you have to have the discussion, so yeah. Yeah. Exactly, exactly. Absolutely. Well, thank you very much for sharing your anniversary with us again here on FYI. Four years, Adriana Michelle. Thank you very much for joining us today, talking more about April being Organ Donation Awareness Month. Uh, we so enjoy having you come on here on FYI every month, but more so, just we just love talking about your story. Thanks. Thank you so much. I appreciate it.